Okay, everyone. So I want to talk really quickly about what went wrong in the Australian vaccine that just got basically pulled off the market and stopped, stopped the clinical trials because some of their patients were testing false positive for HIV, right? Coral, right? Well, basically, you know, I've already talked about the successful vaccines, right? So in the Pfizer vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, both mRNA vaccines that have gone through the process of what happens there, right? Well, in Australian vaccine, what they wanted to do is they basically wanted to take, you know, pieces of the SARS coronavirus too, but they added in something to try to stabilize the vaccine. So what is that something? That something was this. So let's say that this is whatever is inside of their, um, the Australian vaccine. Uh, and so they basically wanted to add something. Let's say we're going to call it this little stabilizer. All right. We'll call it that little stabilizer. I'm just making something in, in terms of a visual representation. And so that goes inside of the cell, all right? So that goes inside of the cell. And now inside of the cell, you have this and you have this, okay? Now remember what I said, that the whole purpose of these vaccines is to try to stimulate an immune response to everything that's in that vaccine. So in the case of the mRNA uh, vaccines, they're trying to stimulate an immune response to the protein that's going to come from the mRNA. In this case, they delivered this and they took this at this stabilizer there, but that stabilizer came from HIV. So it was a protein. It was like a little piece of a protein that came from HIV. So you're never going to get HIV, but they say, hey, let me take this little part of HIV and we'll add this to kind of stabilize our mix. Well, what happens? This goes through, we talked about it before. This goes through processing, okay? goes through processing and it exits the cell and it exits the cell and comes out, all right? What happens? Macrophage. Remember our big fan, macrophage? That's our Pac-Man, all right? So Pac-Man sees it, gobbles it up. And what does it do? It chops it into pieces, okay? So boom, 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 boom. That gets chopped into little pieces. And what, is, what does the macrophage do? Macrophage presents it on the cell. All right, so it presents it on the cell with, you gotta remember what that was called? MHC2, right, good job. So you've got your MHC2 molecules that are presenting this chopped up piece of the stabilizer protein. So what is the body then gonna do? Remember what I said? You're gonna end up with T cells. All right, they're gonna activate B cells, and then you're gonna end up with antibodies, okay? So you're gonna end up with all of these antibodies, but now what are these antibodies gonna be against? These antibodies are gonna be made against this, okay? They're gonna be made against that stabilizer protein. Where was that stabilizer protein from? It was from HIV. So now you've got antibodies that are basically able to interact with this stabilizer protein from HIV. The problem is, the problem is some of these HIV screening tests, all they're doing is checking for antibodies. They want to know, do you have antibodies towards any part of HIV? So if you end up taking an HIV test, that HIV test is going to see this antibody that was produced against this HIV stabilizer protein. It's going to give you a false positive result. Why do we say false positive? Because what ends up happening is anytime you get, you test positive on an HIV screen, then the next thing they do is a basically a confirmation test. And then the confirmation test will come up negative. But I don't know about you, I would never wanna have any kind of screening test come up false positive and then you gotta wait for weeks or days to get the follow-up tests and then you're thinking like, oh my gosh, do I have HIV? No. Nah. So basically, the Australian government basically said, hey, we're pulling out, we don't wanna buy any of this. And then that entire trial is now defunct. They've stopped that trial. So no, they did not give uh, any of their vaccine recipients HIV, but they did give them a vaccine that had a piece, a stabilizer piece from an HIV uh, molecule. And that when that was get, got broke down, basically the body produced antibodies towards that stabilizer piece. And that's why they were coming up as false positives on HIV tests. All right. Hope that helped a little bit.